Hello my beautiful friends, look at this beautiful shine. I was very excited to try out those handmade paints, mirror effect paints, beautiful gorgeous shine. I've never tried paints like this before so I was very excited to, to have a go and honestly I was thinking what can I do to make those paints pop and one thing that was coming to my mind is actually make the ornaments in the kind of old style looking and I risked a little bit by making the ornaments brownish it's not a typical color for Christmas am I right but then when it was made done you will see it for yourself it's so elegant I'm starting by drawing the shapes with the pencil and yes those are super perfect um, circles but please 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 you don't need to have exactly the same circles as I do you can just do whatever it feels right smaller bigger um, take whatever lid you have to make your circles and then of course I'm putting water on every single circle of uh, my painting and just filling those with water and then adding the brown color you will see that that the whole process of covering my bubbles with the brown color it was quite a quite a journey and why is that well my beautiful friends I'm not a professional watercolor artist um, yet or I should say look I'm just not as experienced and knowledgeable but what I love doing is painting teaching and telling you from my experience how to do stuff so basically Every time I do my painting, these kind of paintings, which is more abstract, I would say, I'm really doing things how it feels right, how my heart desires. So if you ask me, oh, Marta, why did you use this color or that one? Honestly, I've been mixing and matching all sorts of brown colors from cheap watercolor paints to more expensive one because it really didn't matter to me. What was important was to create this beautiful, elegant kind of feel. And I also wanted to have my paints my bubbles sort of dark because I figured that it will show off the gorgeous mirror paint even better and I had on the back of my mind uh, those bubbles when I was a child and we had those beautifully hand painted hand drawn hand decorated ornaments glass real glass ornaments and that's what I was aiming for when painting those bubbles today I really loved how this is turning and truth to be told I wasn't too sure of what I'm doing right now I was just basically mixing all kinds of different brown uh, colors and just doing a little bit of color here on the left on the right and doing a little bit of shading shadowing uh, darker on the edges that's what I was aiming for having a little bit of darker on the right hand side and a little bit of brighter shades on the right hand side as if the light is going from one direction Direction. Uh, I wish to say that I know exactly what I'm doing or what I'm talking about but truthfully it's a little bit of a trial and honestly because those are um, watercolor bubbles that are abstract that are magical that are mine it doesn't matter and I wish you to know that you can just be creative with whatever skills you have with whatever paint you own just do your absolute best best by trying this is the main thing just try it just get your paints out and let's make some bubbles together you will absolutely love this because you'll be surprised how easy it is at the end of the day it is really something achievable doable and it's something so rewarding as well what watercolors in general are rewarding and look how actually I went outside the line by accident and it didn't bother me at all it's okay I can just go outside the line and make the bubble a little bit bigger as you can tell I'm trying to coverage a little cover a little bit on each bubble of the same color so they are going to be different colors however they're going to have a tint of colors of the same in each sort of bubble so they will kind of be like friends and you know related to each other so a little bit of the same shades in each bubble so from one bubble going to another I hope that makes sense but I just really wish each bubble to be different yet feeling that they are cousins or they from the same family and yes um, having a little bit of go at your round embellishment it's not easy because you may feel that they're not straight but don't worry we will be doodling around like we will be adding some uh, um, drawing with the pen um, on the outside and everything will just look way more smoother. 
right now it's the fun part starting uh, this is where i started using those gorgeous color from the mirror series uh, paints this is dazzle color as you can tell i uh, attached some pictures so you can see it the picture doesn't do the justice as the video does you can see the exact same paint looking completely different on the video and on the web uh, web store <laughs> so please have that in the mind it's really difficult to actually take a picture of um, shiny paints a uh, metallic paints of any sort of hollow paints um, but you have to trust me that those are the most magical paints I was so excited to try out the mirror effect paints never tried them before and I oh I was so in love I'm still in love and this is something I will be most definitely going back I focused my attention to only one color as you can tell and I have been going back and forth with the same color but each of the color from the series has something a little bit different about uh, its uh, color about its uh, look and its gorgeousness absolutely beautiful this one for whatever reason was my absolute favorite from the whole six and I'll be definitely going back to the other colors on the later stage in the other projects mm, I fast forward the whole uh, drawing doodling uh, because I thought that it's uh, pretty straightforward and it's easy to to do as you can tell I'm showing you now the sets in the store and again they look more yellowish goldish than in the reality but they more kind of silvery uh, beautiful like like a mirror color so I hope you you can see and tell how gorgeous that is uh, when I will be when I will be flicking the the card left to right front to bottom you will see how shiny it is uh, it's very easy to paint with those and it's like glitter in the paint in the in the paint way so you don't have to sprinkle the glitter you just have it there in the paint which is phenomenal I wish you as well to see and know that whenever you are making and using your handmade watercolor paints make sure that you are wait a little bit until the water will go inside of your paint so you add a little drop of water let it set let it sit if you look closely on the paints you will be able to see that before I started painting I added some water and it was like a droplet there you can see it on the other colors that the water is still there and then you're mixing the color because uh, if you're gonna straight uh, uh, w painting straight from the tube or from the little container it's not gonna be as shiny it's not gonna be as good it's gonna be way more difficult to have that beautiful gorgeous effect of a shine because the pigment won't mix properly so my suggestion suggestion <laughs> my suggestion is to to let it sit for um, even five minutes then you can add a little bit of water even more just to have that um, proper mix once you have your ornaments painted you can finish it off with the hanging uh, lines and they are obviously hanging in the air which is super cute i don't mind that you can add some green maybe some green um, le leaves or some sort of foliage on the top if you feel like it i find it as if it's in the ceiling and i don't mind that then with the marker but you can use paint as well i've added just the finishing touches that those metally elements that are just like a great addition to every bubble i guess and that's what i did uh, my beautiful friends i really hope that this video have been inspirational enough to show you that even the brown can be so beautiful look at it it is so gorgeous gorgeous i love the colors i love the shine i love how elegant this is and truly it looks gorgeous on the video but on the real the real life it's even nicer let me show you the mirror uh, series once more it's so pretty so gorgeous use the code if you feel like it and this one is something i totally love i didn't paint with it on the video yet but it's just phenomenal northern lights i'm gonna give you links to all my favorite paints <sighs> i'm really excited to start using those because those are those are my paints from Mab mm, watercolors. Have a look, like such a gorgeous selection. Uh, check them out. You won't be disappointed. You will love it. Happy painting. Bye for now. Bye, my friends. Love you. Bye bye.